What is up, YouTube? It is your boy Echo IGO coming Ooh, at you guys we love Echo. with a brand new goat format video. I haven't posted goat format in like two damn weeks. Oh, we love goat format. But I got I got a special video here with you. <laughs> I got my boy Tim OD. OD. What's up, man? What you got, bro? What you got for me? I have the most ridiculous deck you've ever seen. I and call it. I oh, call it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, before okay. you before you before you say what you call it, <laughs> this guy got first place, bro. Out of 20 people in the tournament it's right spicy. here. It's late look, night. Look at Derek laughing it's and shit. Night, we got my boy Jack. <laughs> All right, what do you call this deck, bro? I call it Venus and Balls Burn until you slump. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's see, let's see what All it right. is, bro. So you guys might have known this card from Tengu. Why the fuck does he call it that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you. So uh, you guys probably know this card from Tengu, but it's uh, Venus. So we played three Asian Creation Venus. This yeah. card is goat legal, believe it or not. It I is. actually did not realize this card was legal. Until I was looking up a different card and I found it on accident. So yeah, Venus is legal and go, right? So you that play, is news to me. Yeah, the only agents legal are this uh, Jupiter, which is the tribute burn, and Mars, which is the gains attack equal to difference in life. Oh, but they're they're trash. Yeah, they're trash. So three Venus and then obviously three balls. Triple balls. Right? And um, you would not believe the power of summoning four monsters with real stats. You know, everybody gangs to like drop my balls <laughs> on the table. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we have uh, three and three. Um, People don't like three balls, but I think <laughs> I think it's important because even if you draw one, then you can still summon it from your hand. Yeah. And like Thunder Dragon, you just don't want to draw two. Yeah. But one is fine, right? And it's it has stats. That's better than nothing, right? Yeah. So going turn one, summon Venus. What's up, Rudy? <laughs> turn one, summon Venus, summon three balls yeah. is actually really good because if they have nothing on field, like they just set a back row, which yeah. is 30, 100 damage, Ooh. you pay 15 to do 31. Um, or you can summon all in defense and you, you wall up and it ties into the burn aspect. So I'll show you that later. Right? Yeah, if you guys didn't know, this is actually a burn deck. It it's starts not... as a burn deck, yeah. yeah. So you have the three and three. Um, I You obviously have to play three of this to see it and you play three of this because it's okay to draw one, mm -hmm. but you don't want to draw two. Yeah. And then uh, next we have three angel, right? The recruiters. Uh, this is like, I, I kind of use panda burn as a template. So this is like the recruiter. It's mm -hmm. like your rat, right? Mm -hmm. And I'll show you the targets later. It's pretty cool. Uh, or now. So, uh, obviously one warrior lady. Uh, She's too broken, Yeah, bro. I was gonna say, you cannot play her. Too and broken. then one roulette barrel. So, <laughs> most of you guys probably don't even know what this does, but it's really good because your opponent attacks with their only monster on the angel, and you summon an attack, and you put in defense. Yeah. And now it's like a 2,000 wall, kind of like spy, yeah. but you can roll dice every turn to shoot something. And the only time it'll kill itself is if you roll two fours. Right? Oh. One in 36. Yeah. So, it's unlikely Oh, to he got the time. numbers down. Well, I mean. Sheesh. So, you, you you play this as like your defensive target, yeah. right? So it's kind of like Spy or Reaper for, yeah. for Tomato, but for the lights, right? And if they knock it, you know? Yeah, exactly. More stuff to say. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah. there's actually a lot of knock baits so you can protect your jars, right? Ooh. And then all the good one ofs. So one Breaker, one Sangan, and then the two jars, right? Ooh, for the burn, right? Okay. Um, and then the, the I mean, self-explanatory, right? Clear back row, uh, search at almost any card in the deck, except for Venus, mm -hmm. sad. And then the two jars for refill, because you're going to be playing burn, right? And then, and then uh, the the, 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 actual, the actual MVP yeah. of the deck is Sasuke Samurai number three. What the hell is this card? So his effect is when he deals battle damage to your opponent, they draw until they have seven cards in hand. <laughs> so if you give it to your opponent and crash something into it, like a ball or a scapegoat token, mm -hmm. you draw seven. Draw, oh. so you draw until you have seven. So you actually give it to your opponent, right? That's how it works. Yeah, but it also put, it also works with the side. So I'll show you too. There's a the, because we side into something crazy. Mm -hmm. So that's all the monsters, right? Yeah. Seventeen, and then we'll do the spells and traps. Spells and traps. Yeah. So the sure. spells are pretty simple. It's uh, one heavy, two tree nade, just oh. like burn. Really normal, yeah. right? Um, just want to deny stuff, right? And make sure your play goes through. And then three scapegoat, right? Um, the stall. Yeah. Right? So I actually realized that a lot of people play anti back row, like warriors remaining dust, dust tornado mm -hmm. and. Uh, Chaos plays Regeki Break mm -hmm. and a lot of other good stuff. So this is chainable back row that they can't use. And there'll be a lot of people who think they can kill you for free, and then this will come up. And it works with the creature swap, which is right here. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really good stall, and it, again, it works with the side. So this is like a really good stall card that you can chain anytime. Right? Escape go. And hey, go format. This is called go this format. This is go guys, format. If you didn't know. Um, the other thing that's interesting is people think it conflicts with the balls. Yeah. But you can simply be a good player and not set it when you have the balls. Oh. Uh, and then obviously two creature swap. This is like probably the, the best spell in the deck. LOD first. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, these are these cards overperform because you use it on the Sasuke Samurai, mm -hmm. or you use it with tokens, or, or the you use it with balls, or recruiters, and Ooh. you take set monsters for value, or you take their beat sticks and you kill them with it, right? Because mm -hmm. any damage is leakage when it comes to burn decks, right? So this card like super overperforms, right? It's wow. almost there's almost no matchups that's bad in except for Goat Control, but you should be winning against Goat Control anyways because you're playing a burn deck. Um, this deck also obliterates Goat Control because of Venus and Balls, right? Because they scapegoat and you kill them all. Oh, right. and if they you have four bodies, yeah. And if they thousand eyes, what are they gonna do? Take a ball or a Venus? It doesn't do anything. <laughs> they're gonna take it's your so ball, bro. Yeah. They're gonna take my ball, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Me when I'm a dog. <laughs> so uh, obviously, pot and graceful, right? No duo because it's in the side. Yeah. But that's because it's a burn deck. It's a burn yeah, deck. Come on. Uh, and then one swords, right? And that's what the true nades are good for too, right? And swords yeah. is the best all card in the game. Right? That's true. So that's all the, 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 the spells and then the traps. So mm -hmm. this is where it gets kind of nutty, right? So we have the burn traps, normal burn, Ooh, right? trio. Trio and desserts, right? Yes. Uh, mandatory. But we have this spicy card that people may not have seen before, Solar Ray. I've never seen that card in my life. Yeah. So this card uh, effect is you burn your opponent for 600 damage for each light you control. So with oh. Venus and Balls, that's 2400. Yeah, 600. Right? So that's ridiculously yeah. high, right? And you control it, not your opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's nothing they can really do unless they clear your board on their turn, which mm -hmm. is not likely, right? Or yeah. sorry, on your turn. Um, this card is also good because Ojama tokens are light. Oh! So sometimes when you creature swap, they'll give you a token, but you still have 600 damage, right? And yeah. if you have like like a non-light, like mm -hmm. maybe you took a residual card or you have like a thousand eyes or a goat token, mm -hmm. which are not lights, you can make them give you a token because they're like, oh, it's useless, and yeah. then you burn them, right? Yeah. So okay, it's Venus on the card. It is Venus on the card. It's nice. canonical, right? You're supposed to use them together, bro. Konami hinting at, at real bad. <laughs> right? And then your last <laughs> <Wait>. one. <laughs> is burning, baby. And then the last three traps, one sees fire. It's your fourth just desserts, and it negates flips, right? So it's, it's just good. Oh, you guys are gonna see a, a, a game soon with this Yeah, card this card is, is hilarious. Yeah. And then one desert sunlight. Um, this is really funny because it has very utility usage with the jars, Yeah. but it's also funny because, um, oh, if you don't know, if they knock the card and you flip desert sunlight, not it only does your card knocked, live, yeah. it also gets its effect. Because yeah. it's a flip effect, right? And the other cool thing is I can just go reckless with the Venus and balls, and they're all in attack, and if they try to kill me, I desert suddenly put them all in defense. Oh. So I can negate myself. It's, it, it turns them into scapegoats, yeah. right? And it's funny because they have stats, so you can't actually hit over the balls unless you have a card with actual stats. Mm -hmm. So this card is super clutch because it, it forces the refill, mm -hmm. right? It lets you force the jars through, yeah. and it lets you protect yourself from dying by putting the balls in the attack. Mm -hmm. So I actually ended up maining it, and it's super clutch, right? I think it's really good. The one sound. And then obviously Ring is the best card in the format, right? <laughs> yes. It does sir. everything. Removal, yep. burn. All right. Sack your opponent, um, dot, dot deck. Yeah. Dot, so that, dot that's card. the cool ass main deck. Yeah. Now, here's the best part of the deck. The, the side, side. Look at this. Is the coolest thing, right? Resume 11. Oh, yeah. This is for the, the scapegoat tokens, right? The boys, they pull up. What do I mean you don't like killing soccer children? <laughs> Maybe it'll dissuade them from attacking. <laughs> <laughs> He's losing it. He's losing it. All right. Now, here's where the cool slide ends. So right. the, the deck is Venus and Balls Burn. Yeah until you slump, right? Yeah. So now we're in the slump portion. So um, you side into what is what I call the heavy slump package. Yeah. So heavy slump has been its own deck. Yeah. And the premise of the deck is you're playing like chaos control and then you heavy slump them by going morphing jar or um, cyber jar. Mm -hmm. And then you push the cards back into the hand with like true nade. Mm -hmm. um, and then after you do that, you slump them. So they only have two cards in hand. Mm -hmm. And the best part of that is most of the time you can just drop any win con that's big and they won't have the answer because they only have two cards, Damn. right? So if you know all the cards in their field and people, because they're playing against burn, they're going to want to put less on the board. Yeah. So they're going to pacify themselves in order to survive. And they're going to play inefficient cards like Mystic Walk. Ooh. And we don't care about that. It's just minus one. So they're negging themselves, thinking they're playing against burn. Yeah. And then you actually just playing the normal deck again. Normal. Normal. Right? You play a regular win con. This deck is abnormal, bro. Yeah, this deck is abnormal. <laughs> but yeah, you want to you want to lull them into the security of playing answers to a deck that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Right? So you side out all the burn and you side in uh, one BLS. AJT BLS. AJT BLS. Shout out Adam. I'm so happy you signed it for me. That's super sick. Um, one tribe, one serpent. Right? Ooh. Good cards. And then two moss. Right? So that's part of just like the normal good package, yeah. right? And you're playing the moss because you're playing scapegoat and meta. Mm -hmm. And then you're just playing good spells you want to recycle, right? Yeah. So these are just the good staple monsters. And then one duo, you can't play without it, right? Yeah. So this card's crazy. And then- It's called Trinity play, for a reason, you yes, know? Yes, sir. You play two metamorph, right? Ooh. With the three scapegoat, right? You start the game. Yeah. And then you play <laughs> two book of Taiyu. Oh! So this is where the slump combo comes in, right? Yeah. You first, you go giant Trinade. 
to put all the spell traps back in their hand. Mm -hmm. Then you set your cyber jar, and then you book a tide. And a lot of people just hold cards in their hand against control because they're not dying, mm -hmm. right? So you book up Taiyu and you destroy the Thousand Eyes and your own Cyber Jar by flipping it. And then your opponent will show you their cards and now you know what their set monsters are. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to be afraid and you're putting a bunch of spell traps in their hand, right? Oh. So then if you're holding the duo for after that, they can have zero cards in hand, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you know, it's interesting. Yeah. So um, you Taiyu the Morphing Jar or the Cyber Jar, usually it's the Cyber Jar. Mm -hmm. And then you essentially get your free cards and your opponent will gain cards temporarily, mm -hmm. right? And then you play the two heavy slump. So this, if you don't know what this does, it's your opponent has to have eight or more cards in their hand for the activation condition. Mm -hmm. So it's like dust shoot. So if they change something to it from their hand to lower the number, it doesn't it resolve. It's still going back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you activate it. And if they have eight or more cards in their hand, they shuffle their whole hand into their deck and draw two cards. <laughs> So oh, nice. the sickest play you can make is you can set a duo, yeah. and then you can do the cyber jar play, and then oh. you can slump them, and then on their turn, if they don't play both those cards, you flip the, the duo, right? And then they're handless. And they're handless, right? Wow. Um, it also is durable against things like Thunder Dragon and Night Ass and Serpent, so it's better than duo because it shuffles them back. Yeah. So if they Thunder Dragon and you shuffle it back, they have dead Thunder Dragon because yeah, yeah. they have to draw one, and Serpent and Night Ass and everything. Um, and that's the full 12 card conversion. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just playing three cards for aggro, right? One book, one warrior. side, one mirror yeah. yeah, warrior, rogue, whatever. So it's just to stay alive. So the side is really easy. You just side out all of the burn. So that would be... Oh, you guys are getting the side outs. Look at this. It's easy. That's why I'm showing it so quickly. Look at this. It's just a really easy side. And then against chaos, you side out the defensive cards, right? So yeah. this would be 12, if I counted right. And then you just put in the conversion? So yeah, this is 13. The, so, Sasuke level 3 too. Huh? Yeah, so that's what I was going to say. After you side out, you notice you don't side out the Sasuke level 3. Mm -hmm. It's because you don't give it to your opponent anymore. You just do the normal creature swap them, play. But instead of creature swapping to give them the Sasuke and hitting it with the token, you give them the token and hit it with the Sasuke. So it puts them at 7 cards. They draw for their 8th card for the turn. Oh. Right? So, unless they have a card in draw phase with priority that discards yeah. for cost, yeah. you just slump them the instant they draw. So they draw, you go anything in draw phase, they say no, you slump. And then if they want to chain after, you don't care anymore. That's right? tough. And then now that you're loaded up from the cyber jar, your morphing jar, you just be less. And kill their ass. Mm -hmm. And that's why uh, I wanted to add enough darks, and that's why it's, um, where is it? Uh, we have the Sangan, the Breaker, and then Thousand Eyes. So you, have, you only need one dark yeah. right, for the BLS. And that's that's the idea behind the whole list, right? Yeah, that's that's it's it's hilarious because in a room full of chaos, they're super susceptible to burn. Yeah. And then after they're super susceptible to slump. Ooh. Right? So you have this really cool, like two-sided aspect where people are gonna be afraid of one side, and if they don't commit side against it, they lose the other one. So even if you win game one, lose game two, you have a game three mind game to play. Right? Damn. Which one am I playing, right? And if you know how to play really easy mind games with smoke screens, you can use this deck really well. The best trick that, you know, a boy Julian. Hey, shout out, shout out Julian, shout bro. Shout out to Julian, bro. Hey, check out his deck profile on this channel, bro. That, 5K that, that views. That's a sick ass That's a sick-ass bird. Oh, let's go. Um, you can shuffle your whole side into your main deck and pull out cards, 15 yeah, cards. Yeah. That way, they don't know how many cards you sided. So I'll do that where if I win game one and lose game two, I'll shuffle all 15 in and pull out the same 15. So they'll think I'm siding a lot, but it's the same card. Yeah. Right? That's the mind game, bro. Yeah. So they call it the magic what trick, the right? Fuck? That's fucked up. Yeah, it's the magic <laughs> trick. Yeah. The magical shell thing. So the deck was super cool because it's the two most ridiculous concepts I've ever heard, which is Venus and Ball Burn and Heavy Slump, yeah. put together because there's just enough overlap to make it work. That is, that is amazing. Yeah. This so is that's, peak deck building right here. Yeah, actually. It's really cool. I mean, like I said, go I'm not. Her. I'm not glazing Tim, by the way. This is literally... I am. This. <laughs> hey, bro, you got glazed is, by my deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is this is the deck list, right? There's, yeah. Is there any concluding thoughts you... Um, We love Go Format. We love Go uh, Format. Support your local game shop. That's right. Uh, thank you to the channel, right? That's right. You Echo IGO. You part of my team. Well, let's go. Um, and then my new team as well, the Thunder Dragons. That's uh, right. My boy Calvin was in the last profile you had here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's, he's getting up there really fast. He is, he's he is. Really he's really good. And uh, Tubby's TCG, 
of course. Let's go, Tubbies. I fucking love Tubbies TCG. <laughs> Best car shop I've ever been to. That's right. And then, you know, just go community, right? I mean, we this is a format which doesn't have like crazy prize pool or amazing draw of new players. So it's really mm -hmm. up to the community to make sure we grow and we enjoy go format. True, right? true. And you know, you know, I play lots of chaos and lots of meta, but you know, sometimes we gotta have a little sometimes fun. Sometimes you gotta play you with gotta have a little fun. You gotta, some balls. Sometimes you gotta put your balls on the table. You know what I'm <laughs> so yeah, just enjoy Go Format, right? Oh, yeah, Have some man. fun, learn, enjoy it. There's still a lot more for us to do. Yes, right? yes. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been your boy Excellent. Echo IGO. And Tim OG. OG. TCG. That's right. We yes, got Derek sir. here. We got Dat here. Yes, we got Rudy here. I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs>